Hail to the Chief. Almost one month out, we finally have a trailer for the final season of House of Cards. And apparently the reign of the middle-aged white man is over. It's going to be different for you and me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. After the last teaser announcing the death of Frank Underwood, I think we're all eager to see what a Frankless season would look like. And now we know. The trailer opens with Claire addressing American troops, referring to the difficult year it's been due to the loss of her husband. Elsewhere in the trailer, we see her being consoled by Mark Usher, obviously shortly after receiving the news, but later we see her true reaction. How Frank dies, though, is still unknown. I feel like the easy way to do it would be to blame it on his fragile liver after his assassination attempt. But Jane Davis, however, was saying some incriminating things at the end of season five. But obviously whatever happens to him will need to happen off screen, so I don't think it'll be too convoluted. They're making it clear that Claire is doing things her own way and not even following through with promises made by her late husband, even going as far as saying not to believe a word he said. It's nice to see the return of Linda Vasquez, who obviously is out to get Claire and attempting to to bring her dark side into the public eye. And I'm sure Kathy is too, who was briefly seen escorted out of a building. Doug is seen surprising FBI Director Green, so he might be getting a shorter sentence than first thought. However, on Instagram we see him rather unkempt, most likely post-jail, so it'd be interesting to see how long he was away. But will his loyalty to Frank be inherited by Claire? Petrov also makes a return, which I'm glad to see, as I feel a dialogue between him and Claire whilst she's in power is a setup for chaos. There are also some not so familiar faces. We've got to look at Greg Kinnear, who appears to be trying to keep Claire in line, and Diane Lane, who appears to be some sort of advisor, maybe a similar role to Jane Davis. But it's a bit too early to have an opinion on these new additions. We'll just have to see how well they fit into this already developed administration. The last shot of the trailer shows her vehicle's window shattering, which of course leads you to expect an assassination attempt, which could be true, but it's more likely that it's just a scare, as I highly doubt they'd have Claire shot like Frank was. Plus, what sort of an end would that be? for Claire being shot in her car JFK style. However, I'm not dismissing the idea of Claire's death at the end of the season. In fact, I'm expecting it. I've been re-watching the series as a build-up to the final season, and upon watching season one, I really hope we get the type of ruthlessness from Claire that we got when she was running the Clean Water Initiative. That Claire was scary and beautiful to watch, and I just hope that the essence of her character hasn't been lost along the way. Now that Spacey's brilliant performance can't take a spotlight, I guess we'll see what she's got. And it was lucky that at the end of season four they wrote in Claire's fourth wall-breaking abilities, as that will help us still have that connection to the lead role. Although no one will ever do a direct address like Spacey. But I'm excited. This trailer has really hyped me up for November 2nd. But what do you think? What's your take on it? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next week, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.